Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Borg Breakdown, in which Simon Borg, our sage, our uh, our guru of, of <laughs> tactics and strategy here at MLSsoccer.com, breaks down something that you saw over the weekend. And Simon, this week we're talking about DC United and their lack of ball possession. Yeah, DC United hosted the LA Galaxy on Sunday. A tough matchup for DC. Hot, muggy conditions in, in the nation's capital. But what we saw throughout the game was a trend uh, in which DC would win the ball, but they would miss that play who can turn, who can receive the ball, turn and start the attacks. They were having difficulty finding that person in midfield who could link up defense with attack. Well right now they do have, uh, they're playing with Stephen King and Clyde Sims in the middle there, but you're, you're assuming though that they're they're lacking that, say a Shaori Joseph type of player or, or a Pablo Mastroeni who can get the ball and link up between the back and the front line. What do they need to do to, to either find that player, number one, or, or make a change that would help them? Greg, I think it comes down to personal personnel because the Stephen King position I think is the person they need to receive the ball, turn and start the attack. Clyde Sims more of a defensive player. But both Stephen King and Clyde Sims had opportunities throughout the match where they would receive the ball and were uncomfortable turning. Mm -hmm. um, and so DC stalled a little bit. Their, their movements were slow, their attacking movements. And they would leave it to McTavish and Gray on the flanks to initiate the attack. And that wasn't working out. They were having a lot of Giveaways. Well, we've seen obviously Jordan Gray having some problems with with possession of the ball against Seattle last weekend. Obviously, he gave up the ball that led to the goal in that loss. But uh, you know, is there a player? They've brought in some players. Obviously, Branko Boscovich has brought in. Pablo Hernandez has brought in. Can that? Can those guys help? Yeah, they looked better uh, when all those guys were on the field at once. Jaime Moreno, Hernandez, and and, and Boscovich. Um, but I think they still need that player who can get these guys the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really it's really lacking. Look, when Pablo Hernandez was playing um, really deep in midfield. He had some instances where he showed that what a player could do in that spot, um, who is more of a playmaker. So, uh, look, it's not, uh, it's not. There, DC is not hopeless. I think it's really this one key player. It's a Brian Carroll. Mm -hmm. It's a Shawry Joseph. Um, it's a Kyle Beckerman. Look, a tough players to find, but DC has shown they absolutely need need this kind of player. Well, they ended up losing that game to Los Angeles. The Galaxy played a pretty decent game. They got goals from Edson Buttle, obviously, and. Lee and Donovan on a penalty, but I think that they did have those players in the midfield. You look at Juninho and those guys, uh, Mikey Stevens even coming in and doing a good job as well. LA is showing that. DC, they do have some work to do strategically and tactically. Uh, they look a little bit better, but they're still just not getting the results right now.